A generation of thinkers says if I go for a public gathering like this one and I drink water, I don't want to give a burden to the next group. I want to make sure I carry my own burden so the next generation does not start by carrying my burdens. A generation of thinkers is thinking about the next person on the line. I'm telling you, Africa, I'm telling you, my friends, if we want to make an impact, we have to stop just thinking about ourselves. We have to be generational. We have to invest into the future. My call on you is to be generational thinkers. If you are a generational thinker, you buy land, not just for yourself, not even for your children but for your children's children. After you are gone, will life be easier for those who are coming after you? Those of you who are students, when you leave a school, will the school be better? Or you leave a school, and when it's time for you to, uh, to leave the school and to, and to graduate from the school, you destroy school property for the next generation to come with no tables because you broke their tables because you were happy you have graduated. You messed up the toilets because you are happy you have graduated. Those of you who go on strike and destroy property so that the next person after you will have life harder. If our generation, those who are ahead of us, had planned better for us, life would have been easier for us. We would not be fighting some of the battles we are fighting today. By this time, it would have been possible for a Ghanaian to start life at 21. It should have been easier for a Ghanaian to start marriage in a nice rented house and within five years of marriage buy his own house. But you and I know, but for most people, that is a dream that may never come to pass. And it's not because we don't have land and we don't have opportunity, it's because we don't have generational thinkers. Tell the person as you be a generational thinker. A generational thinker empowers the next generation to do more and achieve better. Dropouts will have education. Drunkards will be made sober. Those with no hope will become hopeful. Lazy people will become industrious. People with no vision will become purposeful. That is what I'm demanding from you. When you leave here, you will go to your homes. Be a generational thing. You go to your office. Be a generational thing. Now, everybody, let's say it together. I am a generational thinker. I sow seed for the future. I plan for four generations. I make life easier for those coming after me. And give yourself a clap offering, everybody.